Let's now tackle number five on the Amy. Rectangles A, B, C, D, and E, F, G, H are drawn such that D, E, C, and F are collinear. Also, A, D, H, and G lie in a circle. So basically, that's basically telling us these four points are cyclic. So B, C is 16, A, B is 107, F, G is 17, E, F is 184. What's the length of C, E? So the, the main, like, these conditions are relatively standard, like rectangle dimensions. That's not really anything unique. The key, key thing here is the cyclic quad. And you know what's the most important property of cyclic quads are? The sum of the opposite angles is 180 degrees. So let's see if you can utilize that here. So, so let's say this is x, right? Now this angle will be 180 minus x. But guess what? If we find the exterior angle, we get that this is x. So it's actually kind of cool about cyclic quads. That's kind of the motivation for this. This angle here is equal to the exterior angle here. And now, if we form this, this is 90x. 90x. Guess what? We have similar triangles. So let's call this point P. So let's say PH has a length of A. HG has a length that's same as EF, so 184. PD has a length same as HE, which is or GF, which is just 17. Okay, and now PA, what's the length of PA? That's 33. So now we have 33 over 184 plus A equals A over 17. And now we get 33 times 17 equals a squared plus 184a. And then 33 times 17, that is 660 minus 99, so 561. So then we get a squared plus 184a minus 561 equals 0. And now take a look. Let's see if we can factor this quadratic. And it's pretty nice because we get a plus 187 times a minus 3 equals 0. And then therefore a must be 3 because clearly a can't be negative. So now we know a is 3, so de is 3. And therefore, we know dc is, or B, it's the same as ba, is 107. So ec itself is just 104. And so 104 is our final answer because 107 minus 3. I hope you enjoyed this pretty cool problem from the Amy.